what temperature does ink freeze at approximately? Okay, it might vary a little bit from one ink to another, but approximately it's gonna be at the freezing point, you know, around 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. Um, it might be a little bit lower than that. I haven't done like scientific testing to see exactly what temperature ink freezes at, but ink is mostly water, so it's pretty much gonna freeze like water does. Um, it might be a little bit lower because there is um, kind of some salt content in ink. That's part, the salinity is part of what helps, um, you know, ink to flow properly. So it might be a little bit lower just because salt water usually has a freezing point a little bit lower than regular water, but I don't know how significant that's gonna be. Um, I will say that, um, you know, Noodler's Polar inks are formulated specifically to have a lower freezing point. That's why the name Polar. Um, so it's, that one's gonna be like more like zero degrees or below Fahrenheit. Um, once you get to like negative 20, that's where it starts to, to freeze. Um, and what's interesting, we actually, um, I haven't talked about this really yet, but we actually gave some Noodler's Polar inks to uh, an Australian scientist who is doing studies in the Antarctic. So, um, Antarctica. So that's uh, pretty cool. So they're bringing a variety of, of all the Noodler's Polar inks and seeing when they actually freeze. So they have, um, you know, are kind of testing them right now and sending us some pictures and stuff like that. And we'll look to put something together a little bit more once we, once we do that. But it's just kind of a cool little experiment where you're like, Oh, that'd be, that'd be awesome to do. Um, so I will say that they, they do tend to freeze, at least kind of in the vials and stuff like that, uh, around negative 20. But in the pen that they've used, um, it's not freezing at negative 20. It still writes. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. It's like um, the, the pen actually kind of insulates the ink a little bit than it does from just kind of in the vial or whatever. Specifically, if you're carrying the pen around on your person or in a pen case or something, it's further insulated. So th exactly the freezing point is gonna vary a little bit there. Um, but, uh, you know, unless you're in a really cold environment and your pen is exposed out in the elements, you're pretty much gonna be okay. Those polar rings would be the way to go, but that should help you out there. And then if you're talking about like specifically, if you're buying ink and it's being shipped to you and it's below freezing point outside, is your ink gonna freeze in your shipment and stuff like that? We see that here and there, not as much as you might think though. And we'll always make it right here at Goulet. So if you do run in that situation, if you're like up in the tundra and you're buying in the middle of February and it's negative 40 degrees outside, maybe, look at buying your ink at another time of year, but in general, it's not as much of a problem as you would think.